Hello friends, welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're going to be looking at handling events and binding to attributes with lit elements. Uh, now if, not, if you've not used lit element before, I've got a video for that here, uh, worth a look. Otherwise, let's jump in. Um, so I've got Visual Studio Code here and I've just created a very basic component. Um, we've just got a header, uh, we've got a button here that we're going to use to toggle the color of this div here. Um, so that'll be our attributes and um, events shown here. So for this button, um, how do we handle the click event? Now in Polymer 2, we would have been doing something like on click, uh, which is not standard uh, JavaScript. But now we're back to just standard JavaScript, which is much nicer. Um, and we just need to escape it out into code with the dollar sign and curly brackets. And in here, we can then either inline a function um, or we can call a function to handle this event. So let's do this dot handle click. And then I'll create that down here. Handle click. Um, and what we'll do, this, so this button button's gonna toggle the, or it's meant to toggle the color. So we'll do this dot clicked equals the inverse of this dot clicked. Um, so that property um, I've got defined here. So on this my app component, we've got a clicked property. Um, and when we start up, we just specify that it's false. It should be by default, but there is explicitly done. Um, all right, so let's just put a console.log clicked in here just so that we can see that that's working. All right, so that's compiled. So if I bring DevTools up um, and then click on that button. Okay, so we can see our handler is being clicked um, by this call here. now. Like I said, this can either be a function or in line, so you know we could just replace this with our console.log clicked in line. And then if I clear that out and run it now, you can see that we're running that code in here. So you could put a whole function if you want in line, um, if it's small, um, or you can pull it out into um, a method on your component. So let's go and just return it to, to that for now this dot uh, handle click. Right, um, okay, so that's very simple event handling on a button. Um, now what about binding to attributes? So let's say we wanted to bind to um, the class on this div. Now to specify to lit element um, polymer three that this is an attribute, we need to put the dollar sign after it. If it was a property, um, you can you wouldn't need the dollar sign, but we need to specify a dollar sign and then we go into um, JavaScript again and we can simply say this dot clicked and use the, um, a ternary operator which will basically say if this dot clicked is true specify the class to be orange and otherwise let's just leave it as it is. Um, so if I look in my styles here, I've got a class, um, an orange class here. It's just going to set the background color uh, to orange. So when this clicks now, we should end up with it being true and then this should get applied. So if I click the toggle there now, you see the orange background and we can toggle it back and it goes off. So it's all being driven off of this piece of uh, well, this property here. Um, so there you go, pretty quick one today, just um, very simple how to handle events and how to bind uh, with lit element. Uh, if you wanna see more of these videos, then uh, feel free to click on the subscribe below. Otherwise, uh, thanks very much.